What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode, and we have a very special episode today. This is our first time being back to regular uploads outside of our Build a Mock Modular Building in 30 Day Challenge. We just finished that, so now we're getting back into our normal routine of uploading our current builds, city updates, reviews, uh, what's coming out of the Lego world, all of that stuff, backlogged, everything. So we're going to be uploading back at our normal rate, normal schedule, normal content. No more of this challenge stuff, at least not for a little bit, maybe a couple weeks. I don't know. We'll see. But today we are reviewing a Halloween special. We're right around the corner from Halloween. So we figured why not build and review the Hocus Pocus set. So with that, let's go ahead and dive right on in. The Hocus Pocus set. This thing has been talked about a lot. There's a lot of excitement about this set. It's set 21341. Comes with 2,316 pieces, along with a number of awesome looking minifigures, including the Sanderson sisters. And this set just looks really really cool lots of interactivity it stands at 27 centimeters tall about 10 and a half inches and it is about 10 and a half inches wide as well and look at this you get the back wall that opens up it looks like a little push button if i'm not mistaken yeah because it says there's a light brick so the sanderson sisters in there you get even binks the cat and i got a special little treat for you on that but then you got all of these really cool interactive possibilities. So let's go ahead and dump this out and let's get building. The Lego Ideas Hocus Pocus set comes with 15 sealed numbered bags for a total of 2,316 pieces and retails for $229.99. It includes six minifigures, the Sanderson sisters, Sarah, Winifred, and Mary, along with Max, Danny, and Allison, along with Binks the cat. Speaking of Binks the cat, this is my cat whose name is also Binks, and she was named after Hocus Pocus because we found her on Halloween when my wife and I were dating way back in 2014, so she likes to help me build sometimes. Construction of this set starts with the modular style base followed by a number of really cool interactive features, such as the spinning water wheel that controls the purple smoke, as well as the light brick that controls the fire underneath the cauldron. The overall set comes in three portions. The main feature is the house, and includes a secondary fence for the front, and then a disconnecting side portion. And overall, this build was one of my favorites. Building this after watching Hocus Pocus a number of times was great, and it is definitely a great addition to the Halloween portions of LEGO and really makes me want to incorporate this into my city. So the final product. This is the first portion. You have the gate, the Sanderson Sisters logo. You got Binks the Cat right here. Hope you all enjoyed meeting Mike Binks the Cat. But really, this is a cool construction. You got these three tombstones and those were really cool to design and build but overall that portion comes out here you have the sanderson sisters the sanderson witch museum uh base plate that was pretty cool and just the overall exterior look is really cool it looks like really rustic house you got some cool windows you have the water wheel this is one of the cooler features and as you spin that the smoke goes up and down that's just really cool constructing that was was a really cool thing so then we can continue to turn it around on the back end and the side end is where a lot of stuff comes to play so we can open it right there and you can see inside really cool you can pick up the roof, again, really cool. And then even better, you can detach this side portion. So in the side portion, we have kind of a 
open fire with a cauldron and one of the Sanderson sisters. You have the chair with really cool printed piece, or not printed piece, that's a sticker. But then we get into the actual main house and this part's where a lot of the cool stuff is. So you can see through there, you can see the fire lighting up. But let's start up here. First off, my kids loved this. They loved the bats. They loved the spider and the cobweb. But they really loved the skeletons hanging. And that was just a cool thing. Just a cool addition. Cool pieces. Cool, cool way to design and construct that uh, with Lego. So great work on that. They loved the addition of the vacuum that the Sanderson sisters fly around on. And then down here you can see if I push that green button, it lights up the cauldron. And you can see back here, right here, that's where when you spin the wheel, you can kind of see, it's a little dark, but you can kind of see how that function works. But then you have, please do not touch, kind of the entryway into the Sanderson sister, and you have the one-eyed book that you can lift up. Oh. That's really cool. Now, they're not printed pieces. That's unfortunate. Uh, there were some stickers, but you know what? It's still such a cool build. I mean, this, this build might be, in my opinion, the build of the year because then you also have this dangling chandelier. Really cool design. And I mean, love the way that it built. Like, I just... This part does come up the other side of the roof, but it's a little bit more difficult. And then it all goes back down. And then we can add this other house, this other portion of the house back to it. Then turn it around. So, I mean, really, really cool build. Absolutely love it. My goal is to find a way to create an environment to be able to add that with the haunted mansion and get that incorporated into the lego city because it, it just puts you in the mood for halloween really love this build one of my favorites great great job so there you have it that is the sanderson's sister's house from the famous hocus pocus movie and what a better time to do that review with Halloween being right around the corner. So I hope y'all enjoyed. I Let me know down in the comments what you thought. Do you love this set as much as I do? do you, are you going to pick it up? In my opinion, this is honestly the best set of the year. And I'm not saying that lightly. I truly mean it. The build was fantastic. The overall experience is so cool. There's so many Easter eggs to the movies. And I've not always been a huge Hocus Pocus fan. Ever since I started having kids, my wife loves Hocus Pocus, so she really got me into it. So we've been watching it nonstop because of Halloween, and then when you build that Lego set, man, it got me in the mood. I'm ready for trick-or-treating to take the kids out and go get some candy. So definitely let me know what you thought in the comments. Again, in my opinion, this has been the best set of the year. If you enjoyed, definitely drop a sub, drop a like, drop a comment, turn on those notifications. And thank y'all so much for watching. As always, stay creative, and we'll see you next time.